go. It's about to get cold out. Finna roll out. I had your block taped off And that half an hour I pay for it and hard The other half in powder Either Reggie Bush or the other half in sour What he talking about? Hey, that's the last shower Had your block taped off And that half an hour I pay for it and hard The other half in powder Either Reggie Bush or the other half in sour What he talking about? Hey, that's the last shot. I had your block tape. Salute to all of my real heads from Brooklyn to Compton. Power team when I'm bombing. Live by the code of silence. Some say I'm unbalanced. Westfield, least finest. Drum free until you fuck with me, and I had to resort to violence. Drum line on that Thompson. OG Bobby Johnson. No remorse like Charles Bronson. See, I don't make threats. And I'm back, and I'm back, and I'm back. Once again, it's the uncle here to bring you another exclusive review. And of course, this week, I'm talking about none other than Michael Christmas' new album, What a Weird Death. But before I get into that, y'all know how I do. I got to tell y'all about my pickups that I grabbed this past week. Um, not a whole lot. Uh, I, I was able to pick up my man Rory. He came out with Indigo Child. Uh, mix, it was a mixtape a little while back, and he's back with... Uh, with all we need, very positive, so you might want to uh, go ahead and, and, and download that. Uh, Bad Neighbor, Bad Neighbor by, by the super producer Mad Lib, and, and then you got Blue and Mead. Really, really hip hop. Um, if, if you're looking for some authentic hip hop sound, you definitely want to pick that up. And the Seattle MC, my man Dave B. Dave B is back. He had the coffee. Um, it, which was very, very enjoyable. I think that came out in 2013. It was an EP. It was so dope. And um, he's back with uh, with Punch Drunk. And it's a very, very good album. And I'll be right back after these messages. And before I get into my Michael Christmas, uh, What a Weird Day review, this is something that I definitely, definitely need to talk about. West Philly MC, West Philly is back, by the way. Um, um, Philadelphia is definitely um, doing some big things this year, and y'all know me, and I know y'all probably cuss me out about boosting balls from my city, but if you good, you good. I don't care where you from. Um, so, my man Mike Val, okay, Mike Val started a campaign in 2012, he released a mixtape called The Campaign in 2012, and he's back in 2015 with Mike F. and Ken, okay, listen, this, this album is just so dope. Alright, if you're looking for a slick talk, if you're looking for bars, if you're looking for, 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 for somebody to tell you what's going on out here in, in the streets, and, and, and you definitely want to download this mixtape. I got mine off of that piff, but he, the intro, he comes on basically just coming at these balls, this trash in the game, um, 
he goes into another track called called uh, "Gotta Get This Money," and this is one of it, it's at the top of the tape, but it's a this is one of my favorite favorite tracks. It, it's you could hear the hunger like from the from the chords from the beginning, uh, and and it just tells a story of struggle and and you know you, you about to about to hit a lick, but it, it it's like the voice switches. He's having a conversation, and, and if I'm not mistaken. You know, I think he's doing both of the voices for it, but it's just bananas, like how he, he's talking to himself about the setup, and it's just a banging story. Shout out to Mike Val for, for, for that. Um, you know, it goes into another track, uh, a little bit in, Know About Me, the energy at the beginning, the beat is, is so crazy on this, and you can just hear his confidence is, uh, with, it, with his slick talk is just... Blemans, okay. Um, um, uh, like that featuring Big Face Dude. Um, just basically just coming at fake dudes in the game and, and, and in the streets, and you know, just you know, or, or you acting like you in the streets. You know what I mean? Uh, you, you can't do nothing but 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 salute that because that's what these boys be doing. Um, another great track with like a double metaphor. Um, he's from West Philly, and if you guys aren't familiar, it's a part of West Philly called The Bottom, alright? So it's a track called From The Bottom, and, and basically, you know, in the chorus he talks about it's only one way, you know, and that way is going up when you come from the bottom, um, you know, or basically when you come from the bottom of anywhere, you know what I mean? If you, if you put your mind to it, it's only one way to go, and that's up. Shout out to Mike Val for that. Um... It, it, that's like to me. I think that that track is like a, a, a anthem, like a street anthem. And um, I, I I love talk heavy. Um, how the beat kind of switches, you know, and, with the chorus and basically talking slick, talking heavy again. Um, uh, uh, you know, dinner plate. Um, so so I just wanted to let y'all know about this boy Mike Val. You definitely need to download this. This joint is a straight banger. I cannot forget a song that had me geeking in the car. And it's the first single off of the album. And it's called Nam. Bananas. That's all I can say. Ew. Feeling like I never ever had nothing. I know for a fact that I'ma gain something. I know that I got heart and I got hustle. Ambition gon' outlast all of these struggles. My little cousin asks, when you get it, first thing you gon' buy with the millions. And I ain't even have an answer. I realized that I ain't even been playing. So, uh, Michael Christmas fans would definitely be 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 happy. Uh, the the Boston MC is back with uh, what a weird day. And I tell you, I, I, I was I was kind of surprised with, with this album because um, you know I had his past stuff. Uh, is this art? It was that was a solid piece of work that he released um, last year. But I had you know some of his stuff in the past, and I could tell you. You know, I was kind of on the fence about about Mike, um, um, but he's definitely made a, a, a nice resurgence here with, with this with this uh, what a weird day. So it, it begins uh, with a nice little intro where like he's coming back, I guess, to his old town um, or his old city or whatever neighborhood, and his and his homies is kind of clowning him uh, from you know from where he's been at. Um, and then he goes into, you know, a little, starts spitting a little, um, at the, in the middle of the, of the intro. And then, um, he goes into Everything Burrito. Everything Burrito uh, is, the production I think is, is really, really good. Um, you know, it's basically a song a little bit about his plight, about his life. Um, you know, just giving, giving the, the listeners a little background on that. Um, and I, I had to post this song as soon as I heard it. I love this song called Hate. The production on this song is unbelievable. Okay? 
it, it, it takes a little while and it just builds up and it just gets crazy um, as, as it goes on. When the beat drops, bananas, bananas, bananas. That's all I can say. Um, so the chorus, he kind of goes through, you know, some some 2000, like mid 2000, early 2000 hits. I guess, you know, that's some music that he kind of grew up on. But that song is just so dope. Um, uh, Are You Around? Are You Around? I, I really, really love that track. It has a nice, smooth West Coast feel um, with the beat, with the production. Um, it, it's kind of like uh, you could describe it as feel-good music. You know, you know that music that just puts you in a nice, nice mood. Um, um, you know, it, it's a track about partying, but it just... It's, it's a smooth track about partying, um, and it features uh, Polyester the Saint, uh, which is, you know, really, 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 really uh, dope on the chorus, too. Um, this is definitely not going to be overlooked, because my man Logic is on is on this, Joan, and it's called Where You Been? And this beat is crazy, okay? Like, Michael Christmas, I'm not saying that he's like the best MC in the whole rock in the whole world or whatever but he kind of rides this beat pretty good you know i'm not used to that with, with with michael christmas um you know he basically he's he's running down his status and, and 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 what he did basically up to this point and then when logic comes on we all know what logic does he's a great mc and he comes with that rapid fire flow and he just destroys the song okay um, look up and slash save the day. Another nice, um, uh, a nice uh, positive song. Um, with a nice little, uh, you know, little, you know, going into the mind of, of Michael Christmas. Um, so you definitely don't want to miss that. Uh, uh, grab her hand, grab her hand, featuring Mac Miller. I, I enjoy this track too. It's another smooth beat. Um, you know, the chorus is real smooth, more feel good. Uh, music basically talking about taking a chance, you know, taking a chance um, when you see something you want and just going at it, you know what I mean? Um, perspective 2, Perspective 2, very, very enjoyable track. Um, you know, he's uh, talking to a certain lady and, and just basically talking about how to make a relationship work long distance, you know, and, and it's just, you know, I thought that that was dope. Uh, Think you grown? I, I really, really love the chorus on this. The beat is real smooth, um, and it's just you know basically his concerns about being away from home. Um, his, you know, chasing his dreams, his mom being concerned about him. Um, you know, so that's a really, really, really good track. Um, Witness. It ha it has a, a, a OG Witness like a, like an interlude before it or whatever. And, and Witness is a good good track after that. Um, a nice beat, you know, the beat is real crazy, and he kind of rides the beat pretty good for Michael Christmas, um, uh, and, and Just Blaze, Just Blaze, um, it produced by, I think, uh, Thelonious Martin, and he does a lot of work with Thelonious Martin, um, and he kind of goes hard on this track, I was kind of surprised, you know, he, he, uh, because the, the beat is hard, so he really had to go hard on this jump. Um, and it's, it's a little bit of brag rap, so I'm not used to that from Michael Christmas, but I just wanted to give a shout out to Michael Christmas. This is a solid piece of work. I'm going to rate this album, and I'm going to be ghost. I'm going to be gone. I'm going to leave y'all for the day. Um, and and on an on a Uncle Brisk scale, and I rate 1 to 5 for those who are confused, I'm going to give this track a 3.5. Okay, um, he, he had a lot of tracks on here, you know, a couple of tracks you could kind of, you know, kind of skip through or whatever, but, you know, I think that maybe if it was a shorter length album, it probably would have did better on the scale. So don't forget, leave your comments, like, subscribe to the channel at least, and tell me what you think about Michael Christmas album, What a Weird Day. Peace.